Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm making a video to talk about something that was a huge part of my life and kind of shaped who I am as a gamer today. World of Warcraft. Have you heard of it? I'll eventually get to the main point of this video, but for a too long didn't read, look in the section down below. First off, I want to give a little background of myself pre-WoW and post-WoW. I was your average everyday young adult that worked, had a ton of friends, partied, and played video games on a very rare basis. At the time, all I had were consoles that were only used when a really unique game would come out, and I didn't get my first family computer until I graduated from high school, and it definitely wasn't for gaming. For the most part, I was not what you considered a gamer or a nerd. But then a longtime friend's dad and brother moved across the street from me, and one day around February or March 2005, I decided to pay them a visit. They were both cooped up in their computer room playing this game that was something completely new and amazing to me, and I was in awe of what was possible to play on a computer. The next day I asked to try the game when my friend wasn't home. The next 15 minutes was one of the greatest moments in my life. Now don't get out much, so don't judge me. Of course I played for more than 15 minutes, but that's the amount of time it took me to decide that I wanted to build a gaming computer and buy the game. A few days later, while I was installed, and it all began. I played around for about Mm, two or three months leveling at least two 60s and doing tons of five mans with real life friends and the ones I met along the way in game. I was having the time of my life. So one day in the future I see this guy standing on the Iron Forge Bridge. He's in full judgment gear and my jaw just drops. I know enough about the game to know it requires rating to achieve the best gear and I was 100% okay with that. To me if you can't or don't want to spend the time and effort to earn something you don't deserve it even in a game. So I immediately log off my character and I create a paladin. That gear was my new mission and it was going to happen. That T2 set, which I still consider to be one of the best looking sets to this day, made me find a way to experience in-game and start a journey that gave me great memories and taught me a lot. My old in-game friend Dornell, uh, which he was a warlock, he was the person that first got me the hookup to raiding. He was just a guy I grew up with a lot after I met him doing five mans, and he got me in his guild Elite Vanguard. We were doing ZG, Molten Core, and BWO with ease, but that was the extent of it. With that being said, I needed to see past what we were capable of as a guild. I ended up joining Dark Legacy, one of the top guilds on the server at the time. Some of you may remember Dark Legacy comics. It was an illustrated comic created by Kedar, based mostly around the Gnome Warrior Mijikai and some guildmates. That guild had a more serious attitude, and I did progress through nearly everything but most of Nax 40 and the last boss or two of AQ 40. There were some, let's say, issues in the guild, and a group of us were not happy with the guild and decided to leave. So then a warrior friend of mine named John Doe decided to leave the guild as well and start his own called Overrated. A new real life friend of mine that played a mage named Artificer and later a feral druid called Man Bear Pig decided to join us, and we three along with his brother, who left the top guild on the server Eternal Reign, shaped a very successful guild that cleared all of the Burning Crusade and ended up on the tail end of the top guild of the server. During the dead time after months of full raid clears though, my real life friend had a lot of participation with the tank spot forums, and met the founder Ciderhelm. Cider reformed his vanilla guild Eventide for the start of Wrath on the garage server, then we later became Horde on Thrall, and we both got pulled in as officers. This was the most dedicated hardcore guild I have ever been in. Zero drama policy and respect for other people spending their free time trying to progress in game. We weren't always first clears. If I remember correctly, we were always second on the server, but were heavy on achievement progression. I believe we even got World 5th for the Conqueror of Ulduar and got the Immortal title plus Heroic Glory of the Raider achievement prior to the nerf. Siderhelm eventually took a hiatus and left the guild to me. Even though I was in charge, most of the leadership was done by an in-game friend named Kanzer since he became our main tank. Our progression slowed down, but we still did full clears on Heroics even with the brief return of Cider at the end of Wrath. Then Kata dropped and we changed the guild name to Gestalt. With the switch to 10 mans in our guild, I gave up my raid spot and only made it into one raid during Kata. I started logging on less and less and eventually just unsub because I felt like I was playing a different game that I did not enjoy. I know hardcore raiding was a part of my attitude change. Although some of the most fun and best feelings accomplishment I've ever had, it almost felt like a second job at times, especially as an officer. My group of friends started shrinking, I wasn't really making any new ones, 
Many other people were slowly dropping from the game as well. So I briefly came back with some real life friends to stick to five mans and goofing off, but even that lost its luster after a month or so. Fast forward to many years later, I tried Nostarius with an online friend that I met during my time of streaming on Twitch. I was having a blast, but I just kept getting that itch for retail and wished that there was a permanent vanilla where I could make new friends and feel a sense of accomplishment and difficulty again without the potential of losing everything I worked for months down the road, which later happened. Her and I decided to switch to retail at the end of WAD, just before Legion, since she had never played WoW before Nostarius. Needless to say, I lasted long enough to play Legion for about a month or so and just didn't have the motivation to progress past questing or a few five-man dungeons. I do have to say I enjoyed Legion way more than the disconnect to the world that Garrison's created in WAD, but it still felt like a different game than what I wanted. I do fully understand the changes of a business that wants to make money and pull in new subscribers, it's just not for me. I prefer the add-on option of improving gameplay rather than this is how it is now. I 100% used add-ons after I found out about their existence since late vanilla, but only those that improve my personal performance and or UI. Examples would be Grid, Pitbull, Bartender, and Boss Timers. I don't want my handheld for questing, rares pointed out on the map that actually aren't even considered rare anymore, or free items constantly handed out to me without the effort to earn them. Anyway. I'm not going to get into the huge debate over vanilla versus retail and or future classic WoW. Just stating some basic thoughts on why it's currently not a game for me. With that being said, I've been unsub since the beginning of Legion with the itch to go back, but now it's a waste of time without friends and that feeling of accomplishment that I used to feel while playing. Even though it's a long way out, I do plan on returning once classic hits, pending the decisions on changes. Just for clarity, I'm 100% for nothing changing. It's what the game was and what I enjoyed, even with its annoyances that people hated. In retrospect, the things that I probably complained about back in vanilla are what made the game have life of its own and gave it the uniqueness that kept me playing. If anything, a blatant bugs with the game that was eventually fixed during vanilla's reign, I'm actually okay with that. Also, progression content should be ungated the same as it was just make the timing based off the entire community. Now that people know the content after all these years and have easy access to boss mechanic guides, it will be much easier to do this. So if a large group complete available content within a month or two, don't make them wait six months for the next raid. If nothing's changed, I'm also okay with that too. Again, this is not a debate, it's simply me expressing how I feel about the future of WoW Classic. Now that I've bored you with the things you probably don't care about, I'm ending on a list that I will put down below the video as well. I'm looking to reconnect with any old players that might randomly find this video, even if one in a billion chance it happens. If I can reconnect, I may come back to retail or just spark up a friendship again for the possible future of classic rating, or just friendship itself. Thanks for watching. Oh, and also, I'm definitely a nerd now.